I've been meaning to make a video like this and I'm just gonna talk about a couple of the small things that I've done to my Miata after I turboed it to make it a little bit more reliable. The first thing is this coolant line. I replaced it completely. I made this, this line and I figured out how to pressure test it so I, I can make these lines and then pressure test them with air in a bucket. And this fitting was originally a press fitting and it blew out of my water pump when I was driving after I turboed it and lost all my coolant on the freeway and then I overheated my head and my engine stopped running and it would not run after that until I replaced the head. So this is NPT to AN and then it goes up here and that's the line. It's just this short line. This is the throttle body. And then I took off the coolant neck. There was originally the coolant neck there. I have the reroute, this coolant reroute made by Flying Miata and Super Miata. There's a couple of them on the market and it allows you not to have this coolant connection here. And so the neck was just serving as a T for this hose and this hose. But now I just replaced it all with one AN line. I think this is an AN6. Here are my two catch cans. This one is coming from the far side of the head that does not have a PCV valve. And I have not caught anything with this catch can. I just have it ventilated to atmosphere. And this one on this side of the head has a PCV valve. That's a check valve essentially. Goes to this catch can. And then this one I am feeding back into the intake manifold just because I didn't want to plug this and then have a breather just hanging out. And I'm monitoring this one if it sends a ton of stuff back to my intake manifold and it starts gunking stuff up, I would pull it and just run a breather. But right now I'm okay with this. This one has caught a little bit. It's caught a couple of ounces of oil in the last 400 miles. I think I've ran this turbo now for around 400 miles. The next thing I did is I replaced these water lines coming from the Flying Miata reroute kit. These lines, I think these again are AN6. Originally on the Kraken kit, these were rubber or silicone hoses and they just had barbed fittings. And I didn't like that being so close to the turbo. They were really soft and I'd feel them and they were always rubbing on stuff and these still are rubbing. So I have to monitor these for a, a long time, for the life of the car basically. I'll be tracking this so it's gonna be seeing a lot of abuse, a lot of wide open throttle pulls. But I think this is gonna be a little bit more resilient solution and I feel more comfortable having these close to this manifold which sees temperatures of 500 degrees when the car is running. I started to put this insulated fiberglass aluminum foil on stuff and I measured the temperature of the tube before I put it on and I think it got up to 180 degrees and with the foil on, with the thermocouple underneath the foil, this only got to like 150 degrees or 140 degrees. So it really cut down on that temperature and I like that. And I'm gonna start to wrap some other stuff in here. I'm gonna wrap the brake master cylinder, uh, clutch master cylinder and, and some of these other tubes that are inside the engine bay. This is the setup I have right now. It's, it's running really well. I've just been driving it pretty hard uh, around town and pretty, pretty much staying close to my house in case something breaks or something goes wrong. I can get back to my house pretty easily. I can basically walk back to my house or get a friend to drive me back. But I've been monitoring all these tubes. These are the vacuum tubes and I don't know how, how good these are under boost. Right now I'm only running up to seven pounds of boost just on my wastegate actuator right there. I don't have a boost controller yet. And I'm making sure that the system works really well and really reliable at this before ever considering going to a controller or something that would allow me to run a little bit more pressure on the stock internals. The last few weeks when I've been driving this car around, I've been monitoring everything with my computer and tuning and optimizing the tune that I have for the car. But I don't want to run it like that all the time when I'm on the racetrack. I definitely don't want to have my laptop mounted in next to me. I'd rather have gauges telling me the same stuff. This is a coolant pressure gauge and I want to install this one. I don't know if I will actually mount it here when it's, when it's live, but I'm also going to get a coolant temperature gauge so I have a very accurate coolant temperature. And the coolant temperature that I'm sending into the Mega Squirt is right back here. It's down there somewhere. And I might tap it into here as well. There's a port 
on that reroute for a sensor. I might do the temperature there. I might do the pressure here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna do everything. I'd rather have the pressure exactly where I have the temperature to, just so I know that I'm reading everything at the same point. And then in the future, I wanna do an oil temperature gauge and maybe a battery voltage gauge as well.